All right, mate, welcome to Toby's Tea Time. Today, we're going to be talking about this, my new guitar. Alright, so I've had this guitar a couple of weeks now um, and I've, I've done a couple of videos with it already. I want to run through um, the story behind me getting this guitar but also like the spec and everything as well. To start off with the spec, it's the stuff you're here for. So it's a Schecter JL7. Uh, this is the 2014 model. Uh, the difference being it's got MG57 uh, 57 and 66 pickups. Um, it's also got a uh, satin uh, finished neck, um, it shows the wood grain. It's also got a better um, uh, neck joint here as well. That's the main differences. Um, so what we've got on here, it's a swamp ash body, which looks amazing. The wood grain is fantastic. Um, if I was going to be going and creating wearing guitar, it would be made from swamp ash because it's my favorite wood grain. It just looks amazing. Um, I spent a lot of time looking at pictures of Kiesel guitars um, that are made from Swamp Ash. I just absolutely love the look. So there's that. The neck is a five piece. It's made from maple, walnut, maple, walnut, maple. The fretboard is also maple. It's got one uh, three-way toggle, which is exactly where I, I would position it. Uh, I love the position of that, because if I'm playing guitar and I want to just literally just change pickup, I just flick it with my little finger while I'm still playing, which is really cool. I don't use a tone knob, so it's great not to have, having a tone knob. I'm really happy with just the volume. Um, it's got stainless steel frets, which are extra jumbo. I really, really like those because when you actually play, you don't even, your finger doesn't actually have to touch the wood for you to fret the note, which is, makes life a lot easier. And because they're stainless steel, they just glide. So this guitar just wants to weep. When you bend the notes, it just, oh, it just sounds great. Uh, I've never had a guitar with a maple fretboard before, so that's really cool. Uh, fretboard is maple, which is really nice. I've never had a uh, maple fretboard guitar before, so that was new. When I saw pictures of it a few years ago, I thought it looked a bit weird, actually, with the maple fretboard um, and the, the red finish, but it's actually grown on me. I really, really like the look. Uh, it's a really classy kind of look. Um, not necessarily overly taken with the inlays. Uh, they're kind of cool. They're better than just plain dots blocks I suppose. Um, speaking of inlays, you've also got lumen inlays on the on the uh, on the side here which is really nice. I've not actually had a opportunity to play in the dark yet so but I have seen I have turned the lights off just to check and that's pretty cool. I imagine that being really really helpful. Um, we've also got Grover tuners which are really really nice. They've just got a really nice feel to them, really solid and um, combined with the uh, Floyd Rose I haven't actually tuned this guitar in over two weeks and it's in tune. 
So what do I love about this? As I said, I love the stainless steel frets. They are awesome. I love the access on the back. There's even a little cut here where when you're playing right up here, your hand just goes into that groove, which is really, really nice. Um, that's really cool. I also love the position of the pickup selector. It's got a extra thin or ultra thin C-shaped neck, which is stupidly thin, but unlike uh, Ivan's Wizard or um, some, some of the sort of late 80s, early 90s Jacksons, it's actually still quite round. It's not flat, so it's super comfortable. Um, it's just, I don't know, you just play this for days. I, I love, what I love particularly about that is, and the stainless steel frets as well, when you play a guitar, sometimes you feel like you're fighting against it. This, just, there's just nothing to prevent. There's no obstacles to playing what you want to play. The only obstacle is yourself when it comes to playing. And that's, that's what you want from a guitar. So the story of how I ended up with this one. I, was, I did a search on, on Facebook Marketplace for Schecter Loomis. Um, just on the off chance, I really wanted one of those um, Vs that che uh, Jeff Loomis used to have. And I found, so this, this came up, a bit outside of my budget. But when I looked up at the, the specs, it was 100% exactly what I would, down to, you know, down to the, the body wood, um, it was exactly how I would spec out a guitar. Uh, and when I looked at what the retail price was, I realised that I uh, was going to be getting this for a song. Um, it, it was a good price, yeah, so, so there you go, that's how I got it. Um, and I'm super, super happy with it. And as my mate says, I'm probably now going to become a guitar snob. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you've seen, give us a like. Uh, if you want to see more of this, then hit the subscribe button. See you next week.